Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're taking a look at an awesome dragon figure. This is a German figure named Hugo Hartwig. So let's get started. I'll show you this beautiful box. There's the title. Uh, you can read that for yourself. And here's a picture of the figure in an awesome pose. That looks great. Okay, on the side, we got another uh, neat pose here. And the back. All right, and this one is one of their newer ones. It was released in 2011. So the detail is really good on this one. And uh, overall, I'm very happy with this figure. I picked him up for like, uh, I think 60 bucks on eBay. So pretty good price, I think. This is a really nice figure. So let me uh, get him out here for you. All right, here he is. Let me get my camera in focus and let's take a look at him. All right guys, so as you can see, this is an awesome uh, German dragon figure. The detail is great on this one, and you get a lot of really unique equipment. At least for me, I don't have any figures that come with equipment like this. Uh, I think Dragon did a great job with this one. It looks very, very nice. All right, so for starters, let's take a look at his, uh, it's called a RPZB-54. Just like a big bazooka here, and uh, he holds this really well. I really love the way this looks. So let me get that out of his hands. All right, and the paint is really nice. I love the camo on this. Really good quality. Got a nice strap on there which can be adjusted uh, in the front you got the uh, this kind of shield piece and you can take that off and uh, you can pull this or push it back and uh, he does come with an extra that's called a hollow charge box and if you open it up got some extra rockets here and totally comes with three rockets but you can put two of them in here and these are really cool and if you want you can try to stick it in there um, it doesn't fire or anything but you can put it in if you want uh, so overall a uh, great uh, weapon he's got here details really nice and I love the paint on it All right, let's take a look at his head sculpt and his helmet. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts about this figure. I think they did a great job with the helmet and with the head sculpt. Very nicely detailed. And I love this helmet here. Um, my previous dragon figure that I reviewed, Alex Hawes, had this helmet as well. And uh, just a really cool helmet. Love the camo on it. So let me carefully take this off. I did glue the inside of it uh, to the metal part. Hopefully this doesn't come off. There we go. So there you see the uh, padding inside. Okay, and here's the head sculpt. Really a great head sculpt. Very nicely detailed, looks very lifelike. Yeah, these uh, later model head sculpts, uh, 
really, really are impressive. This one in particular just looks great. Alright, so uh, next up, let's take a look at all of his gear that he's got. Got uh, quite a bit of stuff here, and overall the uniform looks beautiful on the figure. It was hard getting this uh, piece on. It's called a Zeltbahn Italian Camo, and uh, hopefully I got this in. I got this on right. I think I did, um, and I think that looks really nice. Very cool. I love the camo design. Um, so he's got it wrapped around his legs, and uh, this. The belt and harness helps keep that in place. Um, but on the back, you can see he's got his canteen, his mesh tin here, his basket down there, and then his gas mask case over here. Got that strapped on. That looks really cool. And uh, over on the side, I have his pistol holster. And uh, give me a second, I'll try to get out his pistol. There it is. Alright, and these are always very cool, very nicely detailed. Alright, and on this side, uh, he also does have a knife with the sheath. So there that is. Very nice as always. And uh, I won't, I'm not going to take off the belt here just because it was it was pretty difficult getting this all together. Some of these dragon figures are really a pain to get all set up. And this one in particular I had uh, some trouble getting this uh, Zeltbahn Italian camo piece on with the belt and harness. So I'm going to leave that on. But let's just take a look at uh, everything again because it looks really nice once you get it onto the figure. Really like the way this looks. You see, we got some uh, some uh, sticker insignias you can put on. Got one there and two more up on his collar, and that's from that's on his shirt underneath uh, this equipment here. Alright, let's take a look at his boots. Uh, these boots are really nice. Very nicely detailed. Yeah, I love the way these look. Alright guys, so I think that's pretty much it to show. Um, this is a really beautiful figure, and uh, I really recommend getting this one. Um, I think I saw another one on eBay going for like close to 60 bucks as well, so if you're interested, uh, go check this guy out. Uh, definitely a good purchase. Uh, really unique equipment. Everything fits really well, and especially the helmet. Sometimes they make these helmets too big for the head sculpt, uh, but this one fits on really snugly. So overall, I was really impressed with this figure, and he just looks great. So I really recommend this one. Uh, thanks for watching the review guys, and uh, hopefully I'll be picking up a new figure soon, so stay tuned for my next review.